as a physical therapist, you know, I think a lot in functional terms, right? And what can be done with movement as medicine, right? And how to empower people with movement so they can help themselves right, to, to rehab and also to prevent course, the future problems. And what I try to point out here in regards to the relation of pain medications, narcotics in particular, is that when people are under these medications, it tends to be harder to exercise because they do have very often significant side effects. Apart from the whole addiction part, they tend to be weaker. They, they tend to be more drowsy. Yeah? They tend to be not so balanced. So this is all a great well, disadvantage. They suppressed their endorphins tremendously, which means their innate ability to produce a narcotic-like substance to reduce the discomfort they feel has been diminished. The medication has taken that over. There we also come to the solution in regards to movement as medicine. Not even physical therapy, but what people can do to prevent this whole problem we're talking about here in the end. So if people take care of movements a lot in daily life and specifically, then they can prevent many, many problems. They need to think or do something about narcotics or surgeries or physical therapy. Just get off the couch. That, that's what I was trying to emphasize, you know, yeah, that it doesn't have to be a complex physical therapy rehab program or something. And the, this is some I would especially like to get out as physical therapist. The earlier the start, the less complicated and the less expensive it is for you, you know. So and the earlier you start, the better it is in terms of it's so easy. You really don't have to do much. And the more advanced a problem has um, developed, the more complicated it is. And sometimes then you really cannot avoid the surgery anymore if you have already crossed a certain point. So um, that's in the end something I think people have to get clear that they can do something themselves a lot even without doctor and without physical therapist or any other therapist. True, true. Yeah? And that's something I often sense that in many disciplines of medicine uh, and therapy that there's not so much empowering of the patients with knowledge. And I, I ask why? And we've been talking so much about the money and that is my personal conclusion to that. In the end is who will profit on that then?